So in this series of preparation for the Snowflake certification, today we are going to pick our first topic that is uh, Snowflake Cloud Data Pro Platform Features and Architecture. It has weightage of 20, weightage of 20 to 25 percent. So we are going to see what all things are there. So as a part of today's uh, topic we, uh, we are going to cover only this part outline key feature of the snowflake cloud beta platform okay so we are going to see what is cloud storage what is uh, sorry elastic storage elastic compute snowflake three layer distinct layer i have also covered this uh, topic in my previous videos in in detail so what is data cloud data exchange and pa partner platform uh, the partner network platform and what is cloud network categories let me start with first with elastic cloud and compute okay so what is elastic the first term is elastic so the elastic means you can stretch it whenever there is a need and if you release it it will come to its original position or the original shape and size okay so that feature is called the elastic so how this elastic term used in the uh, snowflake okay so basically this elastic term comes from the cloud okay where we can uh, increase the resources sizes of from the database size means in the storage size or the compute size we can increase our uh, resources and whenever there is a no need we can reduce it down okay and this all things can be also um, uh, programmatically configured so that in the need of uh, uh, the more resources you can get more resources and when there is no need the resource will go away okay and it will come to the minimum configured uh, uh, resources you have for the account okay so in the snowflake right the compute power that is a warehouse so warehouse comes with the different different size okay but in the south size also there is a concept of multi clustering multi clustering means if you have one cluster of uh, extra small uh, warehouse whenever there are multiple users okay what snowflake can do it can increase the number of uh, this clusters okay so that, so to accommodate these new new users okay they will also see the same performance for the extra small warehouse okay and when there is no need when there are not many users the snowflake will come down to its normal position the minimum configure value for the uh, uh, the cluster size we have set okay so this is how this elastic uh, compute work in the snowflake what about the storage in a storage in snowflake the storage if if i talk about the underlying cloud the cloud is can be aws azure or google so if we take example of azure uh, aws the s3 bucket s3 bucket itself is providing the infinite storage theoretically okay so the resource is used as per your data okay so the data which you have right to store that only it will be uh, it will it will uh, occupy only that space okay so this is how this elastic word is used for the computer and storage next is the snowflake 3 distinct layer okay so we talked about this in more detail in my previous video you can go uh, i'll give a link uh, on top for this uh, the previous video but I'll, I'll give a little bit overview on here as well so snowflake three layers architecture that means the top layer is the crowd services layer underlying layer is query processing layer and the down the top uh, bottom most layer is the database storage layer okay so database storage can be configured in s3 query processing that is the virtual warehouse and it can be the ec2 instances the cloud services layer where all the uh, uh, the the processing of uh, the data happens the authentication uh, access control infrastructure manager optimizer metadata manager and security so these all things uh, uh, are part of the snowflake distinct layer okay next part is the data exchange data cloud and the partner network okay data exchange means snowflake has the capability to share the data with other uh, snowflake accounts okay so that data is a called as a data exchange okay 
so you have data in all over the world there are so many different different data sets available companies can use that data to monetize it to share with the other partners and all so snowflake can work as a data exchange as well okay data cloud what it means it's a, it's a uh, data resides in multiple uh, um, organizations right and somewhere uh, it is also on the on premises only okay and lot of places it's on the cloud as well but those clouds are like kind of in, uh, uh, um, they are working in a silos okay but snowflake can provide a medium through which you can use this data and through the data exchange services you can share it with anyone so this data part where it is residing in a, a, a scattered manner it can be on a one platform that is the data cloud so that is why snowflake itself gets uh, called as snowflake the data cloud okay the third is partner network what is partner network in snowflake so netro uh, snowflake has partnered with multiple uh, different different tools which uses the snowflake okay so uh, there are so many companies which uses this uh, uh, snowflake as a data uh and they provide the uh, services to their client using the snowflake okay so um these are the main categories of uh, uh, cloud partner so data integration business intelligence machine learning and data science security governance and observability sql development and management native programming programmatic interfaces so data integration okay let me take you to the uh the data integration part so you can see in this one the data integration okay so in the data integration this is basically referred as a etl part okay extract load and transform so these are the main partners abinitio uh, agile data engine azure data factory bhumi adata oh sorry c data data mir okay so these are dbt labs these are the tools which works on the data integration part now come to the business intelligence part so adobe astrato at scale quicksight these are the few uh, partners with snowflake which provide the services on the business intelligence side machine learning on machine learning the altrix amazon says maker big squid and dot ai so these are the few name of the uh, partners in that field security and governance you can see acquire data al alshian okay l L T R so these are the few clients here or the partner we can say in the sql development and management agile data engine agility data ops db bvn beaver irwin okay native programming interface go jdbc microsoft.net odbc node js so why you need to know you need to remember few of the uh, partners they can ask uh, one question related to this like uh, in data integration field which is the out of the given options which is the partner for snowflake okay so you need to remember few uh, top um, top partner in that field so that you should be able to uh, provide the answer for that question okay so as of now we have covered all this part okay i am not going to make this video long so it will be a short so thank you so much for watching and keep learning thank you